Hi everyone. This session is about uh, LLB course viva and the first part we are going to deal with is legal terms. So the first one, accomplice. The person who helps the offender is called accomplice. Acquitted. A decision by a court that an accused of a crime is innocent is called acquittal. Act of God. An event due to natural causes such as storms, earthquake, flood, etc. is act of God. Act of State. An act committed by an agent of a sovereign power within its prior approval is called act of State. Actus reus. It is an essential element of a crime. The actus reus will simply be an act. Adjournment. The postponement or suspension of the hearing of a case until a future date is called adjournment. Adoption. The process by which a parent's legal right and duties in respect of an unmarried minor are transferred to another person is called adoption. Adverse witness. A witness who gives evidence unfavorable to the party who called him is called adverse witness. Assault. A threat which causes fear in the mind of a person is called assault. Advisory jurisdiction. Article 143 of the Constitution confers a particular jurisdiction called the consultative or advisory jurisdiction. Supreme Court has to give its opinion to lower courts in pending case. Affidavit. A sworn written statement used mainly to support certain application is called affidavit. Alibi. It is a defense to a criminal charge alleging that the defendant was not at the place at which the crime was committed and so could not have been responsible for it. Alimony. Financial contribution made by a husband to his wife when they are living apart. Alimony is now known as maintenance or financial provision. Amicus Curie. A counsel who assists the court by putting arguments in support of a case is called amicus curie. Appeal. Application for the judicial examination by a higher court of the decision of, an, of any inferior court is called appeal. Arbitration. The determination of a dispute by one or more independent parties rather than by a court is called arbitration. Arrest. The apprehension and detention of a person suspected of a criminal activities is called arrest. Attachment. A court order for the detention of property is called attachment. Bail. The release, release by the police, magistrates or court of person held in legal custody while awaiting trial or appealing against a criminal conviction is called bail. So it can be by police, magistrate or court of person. Bailable offence and non-bailable offences. According to section 2 clause A of CRPC, a bailable offence means an offence which is shown as bailable in the first schedule or which is made bailable by any other law at the time being in force. And a non-bailable offence means any other offence. In bailable offence, bail can be claimed as a matter of right and in non-bailable offence, bail cannot be claimed as a matter of right and it is the discretion of the court. Bailment The transfer of the position of goods by the owner to another for a particular purpose with a condition to return to the owner or his agent is called bailment. So once the purpose is completed, the person shall return to the origin uh, return the object to the original owner. Bankruptcy. The state of a person who has been adjudged by a court to be insolvent is bankruptcy. Battery. The intentional application 
of physical force to someone without his consent is battery bench the seat of a judge in a court or a group of judges or magistrates sitting together in a court or all judges collectively termed as bench bigamy it is an offense of having two wives at a time and there is an exception for muslim male by the muslim personal law burden of proof the duty of a party to care to case to prove a fact of facts in issue generally the burden of proof falls upon the party who substantially asserts the truth of a particular fact capital punishment death sentence is imposed as a punishment for crime now course of action set of facts sufficient to justify suing to obtain justice is cause of action case law judicial decisions can be treated as case laws caveat a notice usually in the form of an entry in a register to the effect that no action may be taken without notice that is called caveat circumstantial evidence any evidence collected from the site it is affected only in the absence of primary and secondary evidence cognizable and non cognizable offense cognizable offense means serious offense for which arrest without warrant is permissible non cognizable offense means less serious offense for which a police officer has no authority to arrest without warrant cohabitation living together as husband and wife married persons generally have a right to expect their spouses to live with them common law the part of english law based on the rules developed by the royal courts is common law compensation monetary payment to compensate for loss or damage is called compensation compromise the settlement of a dispute or claim by agreement between the parties is compromise consideration that is something in written corroboration evidence that confirms the accuracy of other evidence in a material particular is corroboration crime an act or omission that is deemed by statute or by the common law to be a public wrong and is therefore punishable by the state in criminal proceedings is called a crime damage that is a loss or harm now damages is a sum of money awarded by a court as compensation for a tort or a breach of contract decree the final adjudication in a civil case is called a decree defamation lowering the reputation of a person or the estimate of a person in others eyes is defamation detain to deprive person of his liberty against his will is detain dictum an observation by a judge with respect to a point of law arising in a case before him is dicta direct evidence and circumstantial evidence direct evidence or original evidence is a statement made by a witness in court offered as proof of truth of any fact stated by him circumstantial evidence or indirect evidence is the evidence from which the judge or jury may infer the existence of a fact in issue but which does not prove the existence of the fact directly divorce the legal termination of a marriage and the obligations created by marriage is divorce estoppel a rule of evidence or a rule of law that prevents a person from denying the truth of a statement 
he has made or from denying the facts that he has alleged to exist is called estoppel eviction the removal of a tenant or any other residential occupier from occupation is eviction evidence anything which tends to prove the existence or non existence of some fact is evidence exhibit a physical object or document produced in a court to show to a witness who is giving evidence or referred to in an affidavit is exhibit functus officio once a magistrate has convicted a person charged with an offence before him he is functus officio and cannot resign the sentence and retry the case fact an event or state of affairs not to have happened or existed is fact fine a sum of money that an offender is ordered to pay on conviction is fine guarantee a secondary agreement in which a person is liable for the debt or default of another the principal debtor who is the party primarily liable for the debt is called guarantee guardian one who looks after the interest of the minor and is entitled to exercise parental rights and duties over him or her is a guardian hearing the trial of a case before a court hearings are usually in public but the public may be barred from the court in certain circumstances homicide the act of killing a human being is called homicide immovables a thing which is permanently attached or fixed is immovable so that is defined in transfer property act that is embedded in earth rooted in earth affixed in earth permanently etc also it is also defined in general process act in camera hearing may be done in the judge's private room in certain circumstance and in this case it is called in camera proceeding inheritance the devolution of property on the death of its owner is called inheritance injunction the judgment or decree of a court ordering a person to refrain from doing a contemplated act or from continuing to do it is called injunction insanity that is mental abnormality or disturbance there is medical insanity as well as legal insanity intention the state of mind of one who aims or desires to bring about a particular consequence that is called as intention intra virus it means within the power describing an act carried out by a body such as a public authority or a company that is with the within the limits of the powers conferred on it by statute or some other constitute document so that is intra virus so if you are doing an act beyond the authority conferred it is ultra virus now intestate a person who dies without leaving a last will and testament is intestate so in the case where a person dies intestate the property which he had will be devolved according to the respective statute such as indian succession act hindu succession act etc and then we have issue the matter is in dispute or in question before a court is referred to as issue the next is judge a state official with the power to adjudicate on disputes and other matters brought before the court decision is a judge judgment judgment is a decision made by a court in respect of the matter before it jurisdiction the power of a court to hear and decide a case or make a certain order is the jurisdiction of that court 
law reports reports of cases decided by others is referred to as law reports leading question a question which suggests the answer is called leading question lease transfer of property for enjoyment is called lease legislature the body having primary power to make written law is called legislature libel a defamatory statement made in permanent form such as writing pictures or film is called libel litigation the taking of legal action by a litigant is called litigation locus standi the right to bring an action or challenge some decision is locus standi questions of locus standi must often arise in proceedings for judicial review pil is a exception to locus standi or liberation of locus standi that is public interest litigation it was earlier known as sal now maintenance the provision of food clothing and other basic necessities of life mansria the state of mind of an accused or mental intention of an accused person is mansria so actus reus and mansria both work hand in hand means profit so profit acquired by a person while unlawful possession that is mean profit mortgage an interest on property created as a form of security for loan or payment of a debt and terminated on the payment of loan or debt is mortgage movable property and immovable property movables are tangible items or property other than land and goods fixed to the land immovable properties are tangible things that cannot be physically moved particularly land and buildings negotiable instruments a document that constitute an obligation to pay a sum of money and is transferable by delivery is a negotiable instrument negligence or carelessness failure to do something that a responsible man would do or doing something that a responsible man would not do is negligence or carelessness oath a pronouncement swearing the truth of a statement or promise usually by an appeal to god witness god witnesses its truth that is oath original jurisdiction jurisdiction is the power of a court to hear and decide a case or make a certain order the term original ju- jurisdiction denotes the authority of a court to initiate legal action at the first instance appellate jurisdiction the power of a court to reconsider the decision taken by a court inferior to it is called appellate jurisdiction offense the modern tendency is to refer to crimes as offense offense is defined in section 40 of the ipc overrule to set aside the decision of a court in an earlier case because of the doctrine of precedent a court can generally overrule only decision of courts lower than itself the setting aside of the judgment of a lower court on appeal is called a reversal ownership the exclusive right to use possess and dispose of property is called ownership pardon the withdrawal of a sentence or punishment by the sovereign under the prerogative of mercy is pardon parole the conditional release of a prisoner from prison is parole penalty a punishment for a crime a penalty must be clearly stated before it can be enforced plaint 
a statement in writing of a course of action used to initiate actions in the court is a plaint it is discussed in order sabbat of cpc plaintiff a person applying for the relief against another person in an action suit petition motion summons or any other form of court proceeding is called a plaintiff pleading a formal written statement in a civil action served by each party on the other containing the allegations of fact that the party proposes to prove at trial and stating the remedy if any that the party claims in the action is called pleading polygamy the practice of having more than one spouse is polygamy possession actual control of property combined with the intention to use it rightly or wrongly as one's own is possession post mortem or autopsy the examination of a dead body in order to establish the cause of death is called post mortem or autopsy preamble the part of a statute that sets out its purposes and effects it follows immediately after the long title and or royal assent that is preamble preemption the right of an opportunity of purchasing land in priority to other people is preemption precedent a judgment or decision of a court normally recorded in a law report used as an authoritative for reaching the same decision in subsequent cases is a precedent presumption a supposition that the law allows or requires to be made for example presumption of death if unheard for 7 years and presumption of innocence until guilt is proved now prima facie case prima facie case is the at first appearance or on the face of the things if there is a case or not so that is prima facie case then privilege a special right or immunity in connection with legal proceedings conferred upon a person by virtue of his rank or office is privilege privity the relationship that exists between people as a result of their participation in some transaction or event that is privity for example privity of contract so if a and b enters into a contract and there is a breach of contract only a or b or the parties they represent can sue a third party cannot sue for the breach of contract between a and b so that is privity of contract procedure the formal manner in which legal proceedings are conducted promissory note an unconditional promise in writing made by one person to another and signed by the maker to pay a specified sum of money to money to or to the order of a specified person or to the bearer either on demand or at future time so that is a promissory note proof the means by which the existence or non existence of a fact is established to the satisfaction of the court including testimony documentary evidence presumptions and judicial notice that is proof prosecution the pursuit of legal proceeding particularly in criminal proceeding is prosecution proviso a clause in a statute deed or other legal documents introducing a qualification or condition to some other provision frequency the one immediately preceding the proviso itself now property anything 
that can be owned is a property. Huisin Judge An ordinary judge of the High Court or Supreme Court. Punishment A penalty imposed on a respondent duly convicted of a crime by an unauthorized court. The punishment is declared in the sentence of the court. Now, punitive detention. Detention of a convicted person is called punitive detention. Quasi-judicial. Describing a function that involves deciding a dispute and ascertaining the facts and any relevant law, but differs in that it depends ultimately on the exercise of an executive discretion rather than the application of law that is quasi-judicial. Quorum The minimum number of people who must be present at a meeting in order for businesses to be transacted is quorum. Ratio dissidenti The reason for the decision Receiver, a person appointed by the court to preserve and protect the property that is at risk to enable another person to obtain the benefit of rights over that property, that is receiver. Recklessness, the state of mind of a person, a form of mens rea that amounts to less than intention but more than negligence, that is recklessness. Re-examination, the questioning of a witness by the party who originally called him to testify, following the cross-examination of the witness by the opposite party is re-examination. So there is examination in chief, then there is cross-examination and then if the person who brought the witness is to examine the witness again, that becomes re-examination. Remission. Cancellation of a part of an imprisonment or sentence is remission. Repeal. The total or partial revocation of a statute by one passed subsequently is called repeal. Representative action. An action brought by or against one or more persons as representative is representative action. Res judicata. A matter that has been finally adjudicated upon by a court of competent jurisdiction may not be reopened or challenged. So it must be finally adjudicated. The parties must be seen. And the adjudication must be by a competent court with jurisdiction. Summary trial. Summary trial is an abridged form of a regular trial and is a shortcut in procedure. Summons. A court order to an individual to appear before a court at a specified time and place is called summons. Supervisory jurisdiction. Article 227 of the Constitution of India confers the High Court power of superintendence over the courts and tribunals in the state within its jurisdiction. So that is Article 227 of the Constitution. Talaq. It is an Islamic divorce usually effected by a triple declaration of Talaq. That is, I divorce you by the husband to the wife. Tenancy. The owner, that is the landlord, allows another person, the tenant, to take possession of the land for an agreed period after paying rent. That is tenancy. Terrorism. The use of violence or putting the public or any other section or any other section of it in fear for political purposes. That is terrorism. Tort. A wrongful act or omission. A remedy is compensation. Trial. The hearing of a civil or criminal case before a court of competent jurisdiction is called a trial.
ultra virus. Ultra virus means an act beyond the limit. Public authority, company or other body that goes beyond the limits of the powers conferred to it. Ultra virus acts are invalid. Undue influence. Influence that prevents someone from exercising an independent judgment with respect to any transaction is called undue influence. Vexatious action. An action brought for the purpose of annoying the opponent and with no reasonable prospect of success is a vexatious action. Void. Void means having no legal effect. Voidable. Capable of being set aside and not valid at the time of contract but may be valid or void on a future date. So a voidable contract is valid until either party claims it to be void. There are no void contracts. There are only void agreements. Waiver. The act of abandoning or refraining from asserting a legal right is called waiver. Warrant. A written document issued by a magistrate for the arrest of a person or the search of his property is warrant. Welfare law. Law enacted to give effect to society's responsibility for the well-being of an individual is welfare law. So that is with the session of Viva Vos regarding legal terms. Thank you. If you like, please subscribe and click the like button. And please drop your feedbacks in the comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day.